Hey guys, welcome to Ace Mining where we discuss crypto mining strategies for survival. Today we are going to look at this RTX 3060 Ti and this is the LHR variant. As of now, it's mining Raven coin at 28.5 MHz per second and right now in this rig, I've got 4 cards mining. This is the RX 6800 mining at 62 MHz per second and these 2 cards, one is 1050 Ti and the other is RX 574 gig. Both are mining Raven coin at 7 MHz and 13 MHz respectively. Now coming on to 3060 Ti, this is the MSI Gaming X variant and this has Hynix memory. Now if you know about this Hynix memory issue with LHR cards, up until the recent update, there were a lot of unlocks regarding the Ethereum hash rate limiter on LHR cards, but the cards like this one which had Hynix memory, Ethereum mining was pretty unstable on those, but apparently this new version of NB miner which is the 39.7, people are getting up to 42 MHz per second on Hynix, and these MHz numbers make it more profitable than the 28-29 MHz per second on Raven, so that is the reason I'm making this video. So today Today I'm gonna do some overclocking and see how far we can push this thing. Also like me, if you are having trouble overclocking your LHR card for Ethereum, this video is definitely 100% helpful for you because in this video you will see me and grounding some problems while overclocking this card and then I'm also gonna explain to you what is the step by step process of overclocking because I'm gonna tell you step by step overclocking method which you can apply for yourself as well and that is gonna help you to stop triggering the LHR hash rate limiter on these cards while mining. So not just we are gonna be trying to achieve the highest hash rate possible for this GPU, I'm also gonna be explaining what you need to do to get the best possible hash rate for your specific card because these LHR cards, especially the Hynix ones, if you have one you know, power clock settings are different for each model and even the hash rates are different for each model. If you want to learn about that, this video is definitely for you. And if you guys are interested in money, crypto and mining, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch the video until the end because that is exactly what we talk about over here. So guys right now I am booted inside the rig and this is the high OS UI and now I am gonna do some editing in flight sheets. So as you can see right now the 3060 Ti is mining Raven coin at 28.31 MHz per second and don't get skeptical about the rejected shares. Actually this rig is mining on mobile data hotspot so it's pretty normal to get rejected shares on this one. So let's get into the flight sheet and edit it and set the miner for this card on Ethereum. So now that's done. And for some base clocks, I'm gonna be using overclocks from this Brandon Coin YouTube channel video. If you guys don't know Brandon already, you should definitely check out his YouTube channel Brandon Coin. He uploads content daily on his YouTube channel and most of the videos are pretty informative. He recently made two videos on this RTX 3060 Ti LHR. So just for reference, I will also try his overclock settings too. He has just set the memory to 2000 and power limit 159 and he is getting around 42 MHz per second by doing this. So first thing that we have to do is, we need to update our NB miner to the latest version. If you can see on the top right here, it says my current version of NB miner is 37.6. Even though in the miner config I have set it at latest, it hasn't been updated so I am gonna select the version as 39.7 manually. So after doing that, let's open Hive Shell. Guys, if I sound like I am associating to myself in past tense, that is because I am putting voiceover after I have done all the research in this video, so I already know what's gonna happen. Once download is finished, mining process should start automatically. And as of now, my overclock settings are the same as what Brandon showed in his YouTube video. Now, in the starting, everything was fine. We started with 41.3 MHz per second and it looked really promising, but then LHR lock was detected. LHR mode was shifted from 74 to 73.5. This is actually the unlock percentage which you can see in the miner. The NV miner can unlock up to 74% of hash rate. But just in case the hash rate limiter kicks in, this is what it's gonna do. It's gonna lower that percentage to 73.5 and if the hash rate limiter kicks in again, it's gonna lower that to 73 and so on. As you can see, that is what is happening right now. And these overclocks are clearly not working for me. So throughout the process, I tried a lot of overclock settings. Next thing I did was I set memory clock to 1500 because I thought maybe the higher memory clock was the reason for LHR limiter to kick in but sadly that wasn't the case even at 1500 memory I was getting LHR lock detected and my hash rate was hovering somewhere around 38 to 39 megahashes per second as you can see in the high OS window. After this I tried a lot of things. I searched online for other people's OC settings 
and I had no luck. Then I played around with memory settings a bit more, and no matter what I tried, the LHR lock would kick in. And then I paid attention to the parameter, which was core clock. And although it is set to zero, zero in high voice means default. The core clock was controlled automatically by the software. So if you can see in the minor window right now, and in the core clock section, if you see it right now. The core clock is way above the recommended core clock settings for this card in NB minor and for this card I mean the LHR card on Hynix memory because let me show you a document. So these are the notes of a person who recommended overclock settings to Brandon from Brandon Cohen YouTube channel and as you can see it clearly says the core clock he used was 1350 megahertz and the memory clock was 1450 so next thing I did was I started to play along with core clock settings like locking the core clock because it's really unstable right now as you can see by when I leave it at default so next thing I did was lock the core clock to 1300 and increase the memory clock all the way to 2100 but even after doing this the LHR limiter kicked in and so here comes the important part of the video which is I started to overclock this clock I decided to overclock this card from the basics what I mean by that is just like you overclock a card on windows while gaming or doing some other stuff to test the performance until it bottlenecks at first I set the core clock to 500 because as you can see in the config any overclock above 500 is absolute so it won't just change by default and it's gonna stick to 500 and then I started putting the memory clocks from 1000 on increasing the memory clock exponentially from 1000 to 2000 bit by bit by increasing 100 megahertz at a time I was not achieving much improvement in hash rate and as you can see it was hovering around 34 megahertz per second and even at this point the LHR limited had not kicked in so next thing I decided was to increase the core clock bit by bit as you can see it is 800 right now and I was able to push the core clocks until 1295 I guess and as soon as I reached that 1300 mark in the core clock speed it happened again and the LHR limited kicked in so at that point I knew that at 1275 core clock the LHR limiter would not kick in I started to increase the overclock by 5 and guys all this process took me like 6 7 8 hours I know you can see the hash rate on the screen right right here and guys this is the final hash rate that I could achieve and no matter what I tried I could not push this card to 41 megahashes per second but at least now I knew that the core clock for LHR limiter to kick in on this exact version of NB minor was 1295 anything about that the hash rate limiter would kick in and for the memory clock I could raise this all the way to 2800 and I did not encounter any increase in hash rate when I increased the memory clock to 3000 the miner would crash and I had to restart the rig. So this was the conclusion. I decided to keep the memory at 2000 just like I did in the beginning and the core clock I selected 1295. Now people are getting mixed results with LHR unlock on Hynix memory. A lot of people are getting around 42 to 43 megahashes per second, putting the core clock in the negative direction like negative 400, 500 and overclocking the memory up to 2400. I tried that, it didn't work for me at all. Other thing people are doing, same as I showed you in Brandon Coins YouTube video, people are leaving the core clock at zero and overclocking the memory from 1500 up to 2000 or 2200 and they are getting 42, 43 megahashes per second. But there is a huge section of miners that are also getting around 39 megahashes per second as the final OC setting and guys these are my personal overclocks I haven't lifted this from anywhere as I just told you I tested this for like 7-8 hours I mean I tried my best to overclock this GPU up to 42 megahertz per second just in my case which is MSI RTX 3060 Ti I guess my silicon is not that good because even when others were getting around 40 megahertz per second on their cards I was getting only 37 but hey at least we saw an improvement of 3 megahertz per second and I have left out a lot of parts a lot of the process that I did but I hope I have explained everything clearly to you so this is the exact method you have to try in order to overclock this card and then you will know the exact overclock setting which will kick in the hash rate limiter for you and how much you can push your card if you are having problems overclocking your LHR card this is the way to go so guys that was it for this video for now 
I'm gonna leave the 3060 Ti and RX 6800 to mine Ethereum because the combined hash rate of these two is around 103 megahashes per second now and these two cards 570 and 1050 Ti I'm gonna be mining Raven coin with that let's end this video that is it so if you guys found this video informative or useful don't forget to hit that like button and if you need any help regarding mining or PC building in general do join our discord server the link is given in the description I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you there also in the description you will see the hardware that I showed in this video i know there was not much of it but whatever it was i'm gonna link them in the description so if you need something you can buy from there and as always goodbye and happy mining